What's going on you guys? I totally forgot my hat and the truck here, but uh, we had a little pull apart here. I'm trying to find some parts for the second gen. I really need a, what is it, the side of the seat. I need the driver's side, one of these. And I need, uh, I actually need that little fender piece right there, but I'm gonna see if I can find uh, one with some more stuff on it. But we got a lot of cool stuff here. Hey, look at this, this is a nice little layer of me right here, or was. But uh, yeah, they got a lot more stuff. I'm gonna go check it all out. This one had the piece, but of course it had to be broken, but. We don't have cup holders in the back, so we're gonna take that right there. Is I need this little panel right here. This, this is an old little, this is a 2500 V10. I need, this one's gone. I need the piece that goes right here. We were actually just at another one and we actually got a whole back seat, driver's seat, everything out of a, out of a different truck. And it was like brand new almost. And it was only like 120 bucks for the back seat, the seat cushion over there, and this whole center console on a different one. We didn't have the tool to get the back out, but, um, yeah, I just need, and we got the side piece, this piece that goes on the side here for the passenger side, but I need the driver's side because mine's all broke right here. But I don't think I'll find this one today. I have to come back later, but I am going to get the uh, little fender. I'm looking for one that has the mud flap on it too. Driver's side, I have the mud flap and this piece, but on the passenger side, because the accident I had before I got it, it's, uh, it's missing this. So I'm going to get one of these out. I think there's one that has the mud flap. I'm kind of thinking about getting some stock tires too, but we got a lot of cool stuff here. Take a quick look here at everything. So our second gen. Ooh, here's a second gen. Look at this. Ooh, this is a dually. This one was probably a Cummins. I bet. Yep, it was a Cummins. Look at the badge. It goes down lower. Yeah, that's missing everything. Another second gen there. This second gen right here, that blue one, I actually got. I got some visors out of yesterday, and I got the uh, glove box too. Do need to get a whole dash at some point, but probably buy that new. Check this whole seat, the electric seat. I know, right? This is the one I got the visors out of yesterday. I got the visors out of this one, so they're gone. But this one's fully loaded with the leather interior. Look at this, has the all the Laramie fully loaded. See, I need this piece right here, but I don't have power seats. Could take this whole seat, I guess, but I don't know. Don't know if you can get power seats to work, but I took the visors yesterday. So I have visors with mirrors in them now, even though they the lights won't work, but uh, it is pretty cool. And I took the glove box. See the dash is broken right there. So this bottom piece is no good really. But yeah, we're gonna go get that little other, uh, little fender well liner piece. And uh, I think that'll be pretty much it. Little 97 right here. Really nice clean truck, honestly. But uh, look at that, got them right off. Got the little pieces, even got some nice, yeah, nice Ram mud flaps, nice uh, OEM ones. Really clean truck though, I mean, a lot of nice ones here, that's for sure. I just found a side panel, but it's the wrong color. It's the other gray. I think we're gonna just take it though, might as well. Since it's a good panel, I think, there might be a little crack in the back. Can I get this door open? Yes, awesome. Well, that's nice, but also i want to get some i want to get oem wheels look there's two chrome ones on this truck and then down there on that one there's two steel ones it's like why couldn't there be all four you know this is a nice truck is 95 gas 2500 v8 like a good door just a little ding there but here's the other wheel wish i could find them all full set of them there's the dash too an old 95 this thing's pretty straight pretty clean course Arizona we don't got rust either <laughs> a little bit later as you guys can see this is kind of everything we got we got a full um, passenger seat here we got a full back seat here um, oh it opens this way you can see this thing is like mint brand new condition and this is the nicer uh, cloth this is not the uh, what is the base model cloth what the uh, O2 has we also got a center console there and it has cup holders on the bottom. Look at that, they, they slide out for the back seat. My truck, you know, it doesn't have that because it's a base model ST and a driver's seat cushion. We got everything but a driver's seat back and a driver's seat frame here. Um, we actually got another one of these from a different one before we got this seat. So uh, let's go over here. You guys will see, you know, this is the base model um, work interior. You know, we got the crank windows. This is the work cloth. You know, you get vinyl on the sides. This kind of more durable cloth. And as you can see, ours is uh, torn there. Got about 187,000 miles. See, this whole thing is just vinyl here. 
and uh, yeah, you can see the whole vinyl-ish, you know, cloth interior. So that's kind of a nice upgrade there. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in right away. As you can see, we also got, I got this side panel because I was trying to find a driver one because you can see this one here is broken in it. You know, that hole's broken and that hole's broken. And uh, this one's obviously the wrong color, but I figured might as well grab it. They only charge like, I think like five bucks for it. I didn't notice, but the actual center hole's broken on it but i figure i'm just gonna throw it on until it breaks because you know it's a dodge this hole here will probably break here soon so i'll get some use out of that here's some things i did get new tail lights these are actually you know brand brand new i actually got them for christmas i got new tail lights and that amazon box over there i got new uh led lights for the tail lights full leds and then here we'll go walk over there and take a look at what's in the other boxes also another thing i got look at this i got this little cup holder thing that goes on the end here i got this on amazon look at that, that actually fits kind of cool in there really good like it closes and everything but i think they said you need to loosen uh something i think this right here to make it come up a little bit more but this thing's pretty cool it has like a little phone holder and some actual cup holders since these are you know usually pretty cheesy and fall apart so i'll mess with this a little later get that in guys here's the uh other thing i got this was the brand new seat cover and also a brand new um foam cushion this was like 50 bucks on amazon so definitely gonna use this so we'll get all this stuff installed and it's super easy like these uh whole seat cushions the bracket and everything comes out with literally just four bolts so it's 10 millimeter you just zip 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 right underneath the seat this whole entire piece just comes right out and uh then you can go and um you know put this new piece on and the new fabric right on over it you clip it onto the metal bracket then you just set it right back down and literally four bolt zip it all right back on super easy to take uh on and off yeah so i'm pretty excited We've got a lot of cool stuff for this um i think we'll probably do the full interior swap here soon i, I don't know I, i'm gonna just wait a little about a couple weeks maybe a month and go back and see if i can get the full driver seat because now the only piece i'm missing is that driver seat back so if i can get another full driver seat with that plate on the side you know this little plate right here that's broken that would be really awesome if I can get one of those. So right now they don't have any, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. And uh, once I can get the full interior set, I think we'll do a full swap of the interior, which will be pretty awesome to upgrade to that, you know, nicer cloth from this like vinyl cloth mix interior here. And I think we should totally keep this. I don't wanna sell it. I kinda wanna make it like garage furniture. I think that'd be pretty cool to have like a bench seat up against the wall or something. Obviously, you know, this is my parents' house, you know, I'd probably save it and just put it like for one day when I have my own garage and everything. I think that'd be really cool. Oh yeah, that came out of the O2. You know, some cool, put it on like some swivel chairs and stuff. So for now, I just wanna get this new seat cushion in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this new seat cover or not because obviously this is expensive. We could return it, got it from Amazon. So we could return it and just use that other new seat cushion later on. Maybe just keep using this fabric for a little bit. So I'm still undecided. Um, I'll probably decide here in a little bit. You'll see in the end of this video what I end up choosing. But when I show you guys all the new stuff and oh, oh, I almost forgot. Look at this is the other pieces I got right here. Look, I got this little plastic piece. Need to just wash it. Haven't washed it yet. And um, I got some OEM uh, old 90s uh, mud flaps. Look at this. This came all off of a 97. As you can see, they got the Ram logo and they're small and thin. Not like those bulky ones that you buy offline. And uh, you can't buy like these little plastic pieces anymore. They're impossible to find. But that's what I need for right here. Because as you can see from that accident this had with uh, my dad, this whole area is just gone. Whereas on this side, as you can see, it has the factory cheap mud flap and the uh, other piece there. It's dark outside because we packaged up all those seats, all the interior pieces that I got, put them in the backyard underneath the patio, all bagged up and everything. And I just finally got this thing on. See, this is the brand new foam. I did decide to just keep the old cushion in here because at some point, you know, we're going to end up switching it all out. So... You know, I figured we'll just return that new piece that I got that was, you know, $220, return that to Amazon, and then we can, um, you know, find a new driver's seat. Well, we already got the new seat cushion. We already got a, one of these pieces, you know, out of a used truck that doesn't have any rips or anything in it. And uh, I'll just end up using that. But I did want to get the new cushion in. These were actually all broken. Just same thing with that red truck, the red uh, manual six-speed we had, um, the 01. You know, these things, what happens is this little rod here, but it's right underneath in here ends up just getting pushed down and these were taken off as you can see it broke right here and these two weren't even on they were just hanging there so push that rod back over lined them up got them all you know straight so now there's actually support there and then we actually crimped it on the end this little rod right here crimped this piece on this side so it won't do it again 
And uh, yeah, we'll just put this in, keep it like this for a while. I do kind of like it because this is the original piece that came with the truck, so it's okay. It's not like it's really ripped that bad, just a small rip right now. And I put duct tape behind here, so it kind of should um, maybe help it a little bit. But uh, let's go put this little piece in, and then we'll, um, I don't know, maybe we'll try doing the taillights. Might do this another day, continue it on with this video. But uh, yeah, there it all is. Here's what it looks like now with the uh, new cushion in. I will say it does sit really nice, or I, I don't know, I guess sit or whatever. But uh, it, it is really nice. Um, actually, you sit up a lot higher now. I actually found out, I didn't even know it, but there's like two joints there. I'm able to move the uh, rear view mirror there up a little bit, so now it, you know, I can see out everything perfectly. But this is nice, and I did decide to go with the old one here. As you can see, it's a bit worn, but you know, $200, you know, saved by sending the other one back. And um, obviously we have the whole interior swap. I've been checking on the uh, little um, like salvage, like row 52, I guess is the website that uh, has all the uh, salvage vehicles on it or pull apart, pick apart vehicles. The cars that are for parts pretty much. And once they come up with a couple new ones, I'll go check them out. But so that's why we just decided to do this for now, but it looks good. It does look a little bit weird. Like this matches the floor down there, but doesn't match all the gray. So uh, obviously we still need to get another side piece, one that's the uh, correct color that matches the uh, light gray. Also, I did pick up some uh, OEM wheels off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. Got these for like 120 bucks. A little bit like not the best condition, but you know, I just want to, I really do not like these wheels and tires that are on it. These are off of the 2015 Mega Cab over there. My dad's old wheels and tires and I really don't like them. I feel like they just do not at all fit the truck you know they just it's just not I don't know they're just too big I, I I don't like the diameter 18 inch wheels do not look good on this truck I feel like so these are some OEM 2000 to 2002 2500 these are the alloy wheels so got these pretty cheap I'm not going to be using the tires these things are pretty pretty old there but I think it is kind of cool that they have the white lettering I don't know what I'm going to do for tires I'm either deciding between the Raptors same tires I have on the Raptor which is the you know the Nitto um, uh, Ridge Grapplers or should I go with a another BF Goodwrench and do the white lettering on the outside I don't know so still deciding on that but we got some tail lights here going back to some OEM styles but in that box, I do have LED lights, so we're going to try to get these installed and see how they work. Obviously, this one over here looks good, but I just don't like the whole blacked out theme. I want to make this truck look like it just came off the showroom floor, like brand new. But obviously, this one over here is very damaged. So, uh, yeah, I want to get this replaced since that, you know, doesn't look good at all. This box open, and I'm going to take these apart and just see how they all uh, connect up and see if they work with the uh, LEDs or if I'm going to need, like, some resistors or something, which I also did order. So, we'll see how this all uh, goes. Okay, guys, so I just tried it. The reverse light works good, but the uh, backup light, for some reason it's white. I don't know, it says on here, brilliant red, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's just the lens is what makes it red, I guess. But, uh, or that they sent me the wrong one. I don't really know. But, um, oh yeah, look at this, I thought it was funny, look at that. It says 2021 right there in this old 2002 truck that was built in 01. But uh, either way, <laughs> Um, I'm, the reverse lights work cool, so those are nice and LED. I'm probably just going to leave those in, and these are what came out of it, the reverse lights. So I got a new set of backup lights. I think they're both the same, honestly. I think they're both just white lights that, you know, the red tints it, you know, red or whatever, <laughs> the lens there. So I'm just going to go the easy way today because I don't feel like doing wiring. I don't really want to wire into the harness or anything. That seems like a... A lot of work right now. You know, obviously I'll keep the bulbs. I'll probably do it later on, but I don't know. I just don't feel like getting into wiring to make the uh, red LED, you know, brake lights and turn signals work. Cause that's the brake light and turn signal, you know, that's the backup light. So I think that's just what I'm gonna do just for today, you know, for a little while, you know, maybe later on, you know, obviously this truck needs a lot of work, you know, it needs a full paint job. It needs everything, you know, these lights will be coming out, you know, again, at some point for probably, you know, a new bedside or, you know, Full paint job all that stuff so I can always just do that later but yeah so I'm just gonna probably go the easier route today and just put a new set of these in and uh, just have a uh, nice LED reverse lights well you guys I got them both on they both work um, backup lights obviously you can't really see I mean it's daytime out but uh yeah um, maybe I'll show you guys what they look like at night or something later on but uh, yeah they look good looks OEM I like that but uh, I got these things on, the fenders that I picked up from the uh, salvage, or uh, from the, you know, pick apart yard, because, you know, when the accident happened, you know, this piece and this piece flew off. They were completely gone. The exhaust pipe 
flipped around in there and wrapped all the way around the axle. You want to know the proper way to do the axle dump? This is it right here. This is the over front rear dump axle dump. So, you know, these pieces were gone. I just got them in, so they look good. You know, they're all good. These bolts are like impossible. You have to use a lot of WD-40, but as you can see, they don't line up anymore. I hope it like will focus there, but you see there's the hole there and they don't line up because this whole fender's, you know, obviously jacked up. The whole truck probably is tweaked pretty good. It needs to probably go on a frame machine, which we'll probably do once, you know, we get ready for all that stuff. First, I wanna get the front end redone, which I should be actually ordering up all the parts here soon for that in about a couple days. But yeah, that's working. But this side, because as you can see, this one does not have a RAM badge, the OEM ones. And since these actually came off of a 97, they had the little red RAM, which is actually pretty cool. So take this one off. Again, super hard to take off. And since I didn't have anyone to help me, um, I ended up doing it. I don't know, it's not gonna, I'm trying to get it to where the lighting, if you guys can see here, the freaking thing just spun off. I swear, these Dodges and their crappy plastic, I'm not even gonna worry about because now I just ruined this whole piece right here because it spun. The um, bolt wouldn't come out the little piece behind it. And I don't know if you guys can see if I go around this way maybe, if you guys can see in there or not, but uh, pretty much it ruined the plastic. It just, uh, the bolt, what it goes into in the plastic just spun the whole plastic around and ripped it apart from this piece. So. That's really not even connected now. And uh, that one came out good, but this one did not. So now I need to get another one of these pieces. So that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, so I'm not even gonna worry about that today because since I'm gonna need another piece anyways, we're just gonna be looking weird going down the road with one no RAM badge and one with one OL. Looks good, I like it. I like it back at factory. And you know, obviously the other side doesn't look all damaged. So that's really nice, so. There you guys go, put some little parts on the truck. Uh, not too exciting video, but just trying to get little things done on the truck. And um, I like the seat, like that we're gonna be doing, I guess a whole interior swap it sometime soon. But uh, what I'm really excited for is the suspension. I'm thinking, not only are we rebuilding the whole suspension, you guys, I'm gonna be ordering up probably a Carly suspension, either the starter or the commuter series. And we're gonna be putting a Carly suspension on this thing, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm gonna go with the control arms, you know, the sway bar end links you know, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, you guys, I'm pretty excited. This truck's gonna ride so much nicer once we get that on. So if you guys are excited, stick around, hit that subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed. Not too exciting video like, you, like I said, you guys, but uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. My gosh, you guys, I totally just dropped my phone in this chair. This video is gonna be delayed a while. Look at that, it like made like some crazy it shredded my phone like the screen protector got completely ripped and uh yeah that sucks like wow it made like a crazy design in it though i can't really get it but it's like cracked and like a wavy <laughs> like wow freaking the tr chair the shredder my gosh like here is the screen protector oh my gosh well, sorry, this video got delayed, but uh, I gotta go get this fixed. Luckily, you got Apple Care, but uh, look at that crazy design. I'm trying to get it insane, insane.